What's up, fam? Dr. Adrian A. Gentry, a.k.a. Dr. Real Estate Jackson. We're back with another. So today, I have the pleasure of highlighting the neighborhood that was voted the most historic area to live in in Jacksonville, Florida. It's by locals, not by me. We went on an interview spree, we kind of talked to them, and this is the area they chose. Now you're going to see why. This place is absolutely gorgeous. There's historical homes, it's a walkable neighborhood. It's pretty much close in proximity to everywhere you want to go in Jacksonville and has some of the best food Duval has to offer. So we're gonna get right into this video. We're gonna show you what you get for the price inside of San Marcos. Marco, we're going to walk around to some of those restaurants and you want to stay to the end. Why? Because we're going to show you two different properties. One with an amazing view of the St. John's River and then the other one, gorgeous townhouse right around the corner from San Marco Square. In this video right now, let's go. All right, so there's no other place that I could possibly start, but right here in the square, look at it. And luckily today we actually have a heart market going on, but this is where everybody talks about when they're talking about coming to San Marco. We're out here today showing you, look, look behind us, you're gonna have a lot of boutiques, you're going to have a lot of places to eat, and we're gonna talk about the restaurants out here. Wait, <laughs> Dave, what's up? Dave is actually one of my lenders. He lives out here, he loves it out here. How long have you been? That's right, uh, about 25 years actually. Now you bounce around? Uh, well, about in, in the last 25 years, I've been in about a two mile radius right here. So, so I've owned three houses in about a two mile radius. So what's so great about San Marco? Uh, well, this is part of it, right? Uh -huh. So, I mean, it, it's a great place, lots of good places to eat. You know, you got some entertainment, you got some great food, coffee shops, drinks, lots of friends, lots of uh, community, uh -huh. plenty of parks, Yeah. you know? Walkability. You, you, walkability, that's a huge factor here. <laughs> that's the thing, you know, literally we would we walk down to the fireworks. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can ride your bikes, you can run the bridges. Best you know? place to go out here if somebody's coming out here. Depends on what for, you know? They're, they're, they're... Dinner, dinner to burn is probably the top spot along, right along, here. Along. Let's get it right here. So, All right. It's going to be the top spot right now. Now, we got a new uh, restaurant going in the old theater. I think it's going to be Flying Iguana. Mm -hmm. um, I hit Maple Street Biscuits pretty much every Saturday. I remember when they first started. I absolutely love that place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm there probably four days a week. Okay. So, I'm there I'm there quite a bit. So, that's, that's a great up. place. Hey, four Score is awesome, too. If you okay. Know, four Score over there. Okay. So, that's a good place. You know. So, so y'all are hearing from somebody who actually lives here. I was just giving you <laughs> a video. He ran into him. He's giving you what the, the, the true lowdown is in San Marco. And this being the square, this is where majority of people like to say oh yeah oh yeah like, this, this is a spot you got shops you got food i mean entertainment dining all kinds of stuff man it's a great time and there's always cool stuff happening like this right in the in this little section now here. ballast park is is where everyone likes to come and just sit relax after they grab something yep. to eat out here that's it so that's this it. is this is this is san marco guys look you got to hear it from a resident I didn't try, try, and this was not planned and the funny part about it is he was just out here but i got him on camera I, and, my, and my wife's hiding away over in the background over there somewhere she's uh, probably trying to buy something so hey another thing another cool thing too mm -hmm. by the way is is there's concert series that they do over here like during the summer mm -hmm. where they're going to have you'll you'll you know set up a blanket bring some food they'll have live music and entertainment uh -huh. just around the corner over here too so you got so, everything just in this you little got it area all, all right here man that's why right i here, cost so. that's why i cost to live out here but hey, we'll talk hey great to see you buddy yes sir take care. so you pretty much got the whole lowdown of what's going on here right so one of the things i'm gonna do i'm gonna show some video of how it actually looks when you're flying uh, when you're sitting right here in ballast park some of the sites out here this is kind of like that old world feel one of the oldest areas historically in Jacksonville, Florida, and it's it's just gorgeous, right? This is com commerce at its best. Excuse me, guys. This is commerce at its best, and right now we're at the, look, little art festival that they've created, and this is probably why most people say this is one of the top historic areas to live in Jacksonville. We're literally a stone throw uh, across from the Publix that's right here. Hold on, just a second, little place that they do weddings. Look at that Ballast Park. There it is. There it is. Absolutely gorgeous area. So let's keep this going. I'm gonna go down to another spot, show y'all that area and you'll kind of understand why it has that charm. All right, so I want to jump right in and show you guys properties, but I couldn't do that. There's too many styles of houses. Seeing that houses in San Marco broke ground around 1925, and you have a historical mix of Georgian, Tudor, Prairie style homes, and then right off the St. John's River, you're going to find luxury properties and condos. Now, the average price of homes in this area are higher than most of what you'll find in Jacksonville, Florida, and it can range anywhere from $245,000 for a small condo, all the way to luxury, 2.9 million for houses just off the water, and the average list price in this 
area is going to be about six hundred and ninety thousand dollars what i want to do before i actually walk through some of these properties is show you the styles and what they cost in this market show you the styles and what they cost inside of san marco then we're going to get to looking at some of the new construction seeing that it's only one area that's building new construction and we're going to look at that entire gorgeous view off the st john's river so let's jump onto it all right going over to the mls so i wanted to start here with the maps first why because many of the properties that you see on the mls fall inside of this area but if you take a look at google maps what you generally will not find is the same area in google maps so what i chose to do is pick homes right in the heart of San Marco that you can actually walk to the square and have walkability inside of the neighborhood. First home we're looking at is $384,900. So you're going to have a two bedroom, one bathroom. We're looking at about a thousand square feet. And remember, I told you, all of these homes are restored. So when you get inside of them, you're going to see charm, but also you're going to see properties that have been updated. So looking at it from the outside, it is a smaller blueprint, but it, look at this, right? Look at the oasis that comes inside of the backyard. Moving inside, you have your natural hardwood floors, of course. And then as we continue to go, you'll see your built-ins, you'll see newly painted. Now this is a two bedroom, one bathroom. However, if it's a charming little place, if you're moving here by your yourself and you want to be in the heart of the city i would definitely look at a home like this moving on to the next one so we have four hundred eighty four thousand dollars we're looking at 1700 square feet we're looking at a four bedroom and a three bathroom now i've actually walked this property and i can say whoever went in and renovated this property did a dang good job i mean everything that you would want in a property if we look at this house right here and we look at the fireplace it's not working but it still gives you that amazing feeling of a home that was built in the early 1900s just going through this property we're looking at 24 by 24 tiles we're looking at granite countertops absolutely gorgeous this home is something that i think is a gem that you would actually find in this area and a lot of people are like that's 485,000. Uh, well it's really well done in its location 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 gorgeous shower as we go through it we have a beautiful uh, deck on the back of the home and then we move into a large backyard for entertaining next on that list we have 665,000. i want to show you a little bit larger home now this is a little bit further away from the 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 uh square however you get to see the different styles that you'll find in this neighborhood now this one was built in 1936 we're looking at 665,000, but it's 2,000 square feet three bedroom it looks like it says three to one right here which means it's a 2.5 bath bathrooms and it just got on the market today so if we're looking at the home itself we're going to go over here look at this gorgeous home we do have a garage down here it has been completely renovated inside we have natural hardwood floors normal natural look here you have a fireplace which adds to that charm of having these older houses i love customers that look at these historic houses because they see something completely different especially when it comes to remodeling so we're walking into the kitchen we have a gas community we have stainless steel appliances we have granite countertops beautiful little reading room little nook so to speak your guest room large master bathroom for this time it's something that you generally don't see in these older homes it's large room just because of the time frame that it was built we're looking at stone and 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 tile in the showers great pedestal sink and once again a large backyard look at this all right, and then the last one I want to kind of show you right here is this is when you're talking about creme de la creme. This is a million dollar home, 1.29, right? So we're looking at this, we're looking at three bedroom, three bathroom. It's 2,800 square feet, built in 1940. And if we're going over to the photos, look at this. Just look at it, look at it, look at it. So for 1.2, I can definitely say this is a home that I would be looking at if I'm in this price range because really well done as far as the renovation goes on this property. You have a sunroom. Look at this beautiful home. So I just wanted to show you real quick like the different types of homes and what the mix was inside of San Marco. But we're going to jump right into the tour. So let's go. All right, guys. So I had to stop here. This is San Marco train station. And this is like a little hidden gem that you'll find in Jacksonville. It, I had to show you this place because it gives me that vibe of like an old movie set and so once we're talking about historic we had to come here so if you're looking for a place to just grab some ice cream sit around and just you know hold hands with the spouse or girlfriend i don't know what you guys do this will possibly be a place for you to come but from here let me just kind of give you perspective of where we are in the city san marco train station is literally seven minutes from downtown it's right off of i-95 if you're looking to go to the airport we're only 22 minutes away if we're looking to go to the beach 18 minutes away which makes this a prime location for 
people looking to, to, to live here. And that's why it's called one of the most walkable neighborhoods because everything is literally like jam packed right in the center. Now there's three roads. If you're trying to navigate through San Marco, you're going to find San Marco Boulevard, you're going to find Hendrix, and then you're going to find Atlantic, what kind of crosses over. Now, driving down San Marco and Hendrix, you're gonna find streets lined with different shops, different restaurants. So if you wanna get out and grab something to eat, if you wanna grab some cookies, if you want to grab some ice cream, most likely, I mean, you could just stroll one of these streets and run into something that you like. In fact, there's one hot wing place right down the street that I frequent. It's like my second to third go-to restaurant, but you know, they do have the wings on this strip. In San Marcos, there's 14 different parks throughout San Marco. And one of my favorite would possibly be the Riverfront Park. It's a great little park to go out, sit down. I think Janelle loves it. That's her favorite park in the city. So when she's uh, mad at me, she... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've been stressed out for running with customers. She goes down there. It's an excellent place to just have a sunset and relax. You kind of got the feeling of this place in, in San Marco. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take you to a luxury condo over on the St. John's River. And I think you guys will fall in love with it. Let's go. All right, so we had to bring you over to South Bank. So this is the peninsula. We wanted to show you a little bit of condo living down here at the peninsula. So right now we just got off the private entrance. Come up on your own elevator. Let's move in, let's move in, let's move in. So right now we're in a living space, right? So if we look at this right here, we're looking at the granite countertop, absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, cabinetry, more than enough, much more than you typically see in a condo when you're living in Jacksonville, Florida. This space is absolutely immaculate with the stainless steel, no smudge. <laughs> Beautiful. So we're looking here, we're in the living room. Now, if this is a pretty nice size living room, if we're looking at it, we have a complete couch. We do have two chairs, which means you could have a love seat here if you wanted to. And in this space right here, what everybody has been talking about is open space, open concept. All right. So if you want to put a full size kitchen table here, you could, you have an open concept. It's free flowing, great for entertaining. Now let's, let's, let's check this out, right? So we got one, two, three options to go outside of the door, but we're going to show you what the balcony view looks like first before we get into the rooms. Come on. All right. So now overlooking the city. Now, this is probably one of the best views you're going to find in Jacksonville inside of this, especially if you have a view like this, like it wraps all the way around, coming around, coming around. So you get the view of downtown all the way across, all the way to the Wells Fargo building. And then you look over here, you have the St. John's River. Now, you can't tell me that this wouldn't be a place where you sit at majority of the time. All right, moving back in. Come on, come on. All right, moving past the living room, we're going to go into the owner's suite. Now look at this. Everything about this place screams luxury, especially when we're looking at so many windows inside the entire place. If you look in the living room, of course, you had all of those, those sliders that you can go out to the balcony, but this is the owner's suite. This is how beautiful it looks inside of here. Imagine waking up, looking at downtown every day. Now you have two closets, her and her. So women, you already know that you're going to take majority of the closets space, but this is a pretty nice size closet if we're looking at closets, right? Two, one on each side and then we move into the master bath right master bathroom now this is a this is a throne fit for a king this is this is just your average toilet but when we look over here majority of people are talking about wanting to have a a, a tub inside of their bathrooms the majority of us don't like new construction new bills you don't necessarily find tubs inside of the bathroom but this one right here absolutely gorgeous now we spin right around we do have our shower pretty nice size shower <laughs> stone everywhere absolutely gorgeous glass it's beautiful it's beautiful this is what you get when you're in a condo right off of the St. John's River and of course you have your towel closet but this is immaculate man like most people don't understand condo living in Jacksonville Florida it can be kind of mundane and a lot of these newer condos that you'll find downtown um, right over here in South Bank right in San Marco this was fit for luxury we've got one more thing to show you come on all right so here we go this is your secondary bathroom still beautiful finishes inside of it look at the countertops gorgeous and of course you have the glass feature but if I'm coming to your house and you let me sleep in a, a bedroom like this, I'm not leaving. Come here, this is your second bedroom. All right, look at this. Now just imagine. <laughs> you let me come over for Thanksgiving, and sir, I'm not leaving. This is where 
I would be majority of the time. Just looking out this window, look at here, we have a king size bed. So that kind of speaks to how large this room is. All right, so this isn't even the half of it. So if you go down to the ninth floor, you're going to find a floor out spa fitness center where you're gonna have a steam room. You're gonna be able to get your toes, mani, pedis, massages, everything that you would go to a spa to get. You'll be able to get it right here in the building. If we go up to the 30th floor, you're going to find the lounge. Now this community right here at the peninsula, this condo is gonna run you $690. $99,000, but you have 24 hour concierge service, 24 hour valet parking. Like this is what luxury is all about. And it's right here off the St. John River. So we, we got to get to the next place because this wasn't the final stop. We still have more for you. Let's go. Okay, so we finally made it to the Terrace of San Marco. These townhouses are pretty much the only new construction that's going on in San Marco outside of some of the condominiums that you'll see inside of this community. But this one is built by Toll Brothers, the Creme de la Creme. And if you've seen many of our videos, you'll know when they put in options inside of the house, they go to the max. Now, this is the Atlantic model. We're talking about 2,085 square feet. We're talking about three levels. On the bottom level, you're going to find a flex space and a bathroom but up here we're going to show you these two floors and you want to see this rooftop terrace it's crazy so let's get this going one of the things i love about anything that toll brother builds you have so many options it's not like most builders where if you see it something like this your glass going into your pantry that doesn't necessarily mean you can't get it you absolutely can now coming around we see these cabinets going all the way to the ceiling now we have 10 foot ceilings inside of this place you have your texas style i will never say gourmet style kitchen and wrapping around to all of this counter space that you see inside of this townhouse. This is absolutely gorgeous when I'm talking about this stone right here. I love the fact that it caps off. It's not just on the roof right here. We have under Mount Farmhouse Sink. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One thing you'll see in this entire unit is just open space with beautiful sunlight. Now, this is a gas community. So being that it's a gas community, you know how I feel about that, guys. It absolutely cooks the best. Okay, moving into the living space. All right, now this gives us scale to how large this place actually is on this floor. If we're talking about a table that holds a sitting in the middle between the kitchen and the living room, it shows how large this is. I know it is a townhouse, but at the same token, this is what you'll actually find in a single family home with nothing but space for entertaining, relaxing, and you're not feeling like you're cramped in a box. So moving into the living space, of course, we see we have a full size couch. We have two end tables and then a massive, massive table right here. Once again, speaking to how this has been built out, how they have set up this area. And then we're going to start making our way upstairs. Now, you're going to have a half bathroom down here for when your guests come in. Moving up the steps, moving up the steps. This is your first guest bedroom. And this right here is a full size bed. Very nice. I'm loving the windows. They're probably about as grand as they possibly can get inside of a room this size, bringing in that natural light. Coming over here, we're going to see our second guest bedroom or children's bedroom. Now, this one, one, two, three. Now, there's three windows inside of here, so you can absolutely understand how bright this room is. Absolutely love this feature that they have in this bedroom. Of course, it's, it's much grander than the scale. Here, we're gonna have our bathroom that's shared by both of these two rooms as we're coming down the hall. Now, look, once again, we're seeing that glass 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 and you don't necessarily have to put it in here but it's definitely brand where you can see what's going on inside of the closets now we're going into the master so the master once again nothing but windows that encapsulates this room it's beautiful this is a king size bed and pretty nice size end table so for a townhouse this size in the middle of, of the heart of san marco this is, seems to be a lot of space that toll brothers has built into this pretty high sil ceilings over here looking at the master closet now it's not a huge closet at all but what they've done is they have done a lot of organization in here to make sure that you can pack those clothes in, especially for those snowbirds that's coming in. You don't need many big puffy jackets. You have just enough. You only need like, what was that? Flip flops and shorts. Come on. Now, so we're going up, we're going up. Now this is the place that I have 
been talking about. The rooftop terrace. Now these are only inner units, like you're not going to get all of this grandeur inside of the inner units. But this being the Atlantic, you come over here, you got a nice size TV, sitting around, relaxing in the summertime, deciding to watch some TV, there you go. Now moving over here, we have an outdoor kitchen. Now I don't know if you guys know anything about barbecuing, but if I'm up here and people can smell it down there, then I'm in a fantastic place. Now this would most likely be the place I spend the majority of my time. Now looking at this right here, they have an entire tennis table just so you can have your friends over playing tennis. And if you want to extend this, you actually come over here, you have gas plumbed already out. And also you have a water faucet. So if you want to put one of those pools, put your feet in in the summertime, as the wind is blowing and the sun is beaming down, you absolutely can. So this right here, creme de la creme, that's like the only new construction that they're building out here right now in case they have an infill lot. And today we've showed you the square. We've shown you the train station. We've shown you the map tour, but it's something I'm missing. And I know what that is, it's food. So I have to, show you the food. All right, so we've shown you the square, we've shown you the town center, we've shown you luxury condo, we have shown you what you get for your money in San Marco, but I think I would do you a disservice if I did not talk about food, right? I, I love food, period. That's, that's what I do. And having a group, Best Eats and Jacks, we have 100,000 members inside of that group. I see food all day long. And if you ask anybody in Jacksonville, where's the best restaurants? I guarantee you one or two of that list will be in San Marco. There's so many restaurants out here, right? So you're gonna see about three or four or coffee shops, you're gonna see juice tap where you can walk up and get your IC bowl, acai, there it is, acai bowls. You're gonna get your smoothies there. You're gonna to go to Fuji Sushi right next door to that where you can eat all the sushi you want. You're gonna have good donut, self-explanatory. You're gonna get good donuts. You have Matthews, which is ultra upscale, five star. You have so many courses, it's ridiculous. Now you have Tavana. Tavana is also one of those restaurants you wanna check out. They all opened up another brand right next door that is for those who love to eat fish. Now it's so many out here and I can list them all day long but i gotta talk about a couple of my favorites the first one is going to be town hall now the ambiance inside of town hall is absolutely gorgeous i, I think that's my favorite phrase absolutely <laughs> gorgeous town hall i went there a couple of weeks ago i got the i think i got duck it was cooked perfectly then you're gonna look at bb's now if you want a dessert guys bb's offers a cake it's probably about this big now you're going to want to check out bb's they also have something called a deconstructed uh, uh, wonton duck wonton it's fabulous the next one is definitely going Going to be pink salt now i've talked about this in other videos pink salt is fusion right it's jamaican fusion don't go there looking for average jamaican food he kind of incorporates a little bit of everything inside of his food so he's classically trained so you're going to get jamaican and from jamaica so you're going to get jamaican you're going to get uh you're going to get some french you're going to get some indian all inside of every dish that he creates and then you have maple street biscuit company now opened up several years ago they used to have collard that they put on their biscuit chicken it was delicious they, they took the collard greens off but if you're ever looking for a breakfast that's the place to go. Now, 1937, they do something, it's like a shrimp bread. So it's shrimp, it's cheese on top with shrimp. I don't know why we are famous for Mayport shrimp, but we don't have that many dishes in Florida. But I think that needs to be like the, the city dish right there. They're, they're, they're bread with the shrimp, cheese. Oh, it melts in your mouth. And then of course, I'm here. We're at V's Pizza, right? Look at look at this. Look, hold on, hold on. You see it? You see it? V's Signature Wings. I'm waiting on my pizza to come right now. And I can tell you what, I have favorite wing spots. Wings are my comfort food. <laughs> So these are one of my favorite wings that you're going to find inside of this city. So we gave you a little bit of everything, right? Let you know where the restaurants are at now. So you have a place to go, fellas, to take your women when it's time for date night. You know exactly where to bring them for restaurants. That's pretty much it, right? What we're going to do is we're going to put a video somewhere here, right? We're going to talk about more about Jacksonville, let you know what it's like when you're moving here, check out some of our videos. But you know what I'm going to say. You already know what I'm going to say. Until next time, be great. Choose excellence everything you do.